Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Caitlin Gillespie from Boys Town Pediatrics. And with me here today, I've got Melanie from Nurture Omaha and Amy from Safe Kids Douglas County to talk about car seat safety, especially for our newborns. What kind of car seat do we pick? Um, how do we know it's the right one for our family? Um, and a lot of that just boils down to knowing that there's not one perfect car seat for everyone. Um, we shouldn't be selecting on price alone. We should be picking the thing that's best for us and that we think is meeting our specifications for our child and for our lifestyle. Um, there are a couple of things though that we say we definitely shouldn't be doing or that we should keep an eye out for in terms of making safe decisions um, for selecting a car seat. And a lot of that boils down to the car seat's history. Um, so for our families that are maybe have a car seat or getting a car seat from someone else, um, I think the big things are just knowing the car seat's history. So knowing how old it is, making sure it has its label and that it meets the specifications that you need it to meet. Um, the other big thing is damage to car seats. So making sure that um, there's no visible cracks or any areas where the car seat is falling apart. Um, and also knowing the history of the car seat in terms of if it's been involved in an accident, because if it's been in a pretty significant accident, we don't want to be using that car seat either and would need to get another one. Um, are there any other things that you look out for in terms of selecting a car seat? Uh, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration also has a list of car seats for ease of use rating. So it's not a safety rating, but it's an ease of use rating that might be helpful. Um, they, you are also able to go on their website and check for recalls of the car seat. If you are getting it from a neighbor or a sibling or something like that, you can make sure it's free of recalls. Perfect. Absolutely. Um, so those are kind of safety features. There are other things that we like to um, make sure parents are aware in terms of using their car seat appropriately and making sure that we're using it safely with the other things that we have. This is especially important during our winter months, especially here in the Midwest, um, as the winters are pretty cold um, and we need to keep our kiddos warm while we're in the car, but want to do it in a safe manner. Um, so there are a couple of things that we just want to make sure parents know are don'ts in terms of car seat safety, um, specifically related to the things we might use to keep them warm and how we should be using them. Are there any big things that you see or big no-nos in terms of car seat safety? Yeah, definitely. There are things that are sold in the stores that are in the car seat aisles. People may believe that they are safe to use with their car seats, but you should not use anything with the car seat that did not, did not come with it in the box that it was purchased in. Um, for an example, like that would be one of these we call these like a sleeping bag style cover that would go in the car seat um, anything that goes behind the baby um, and goes behind that harness uh, is not safe to use with the car seat it interferes with how tight you can get it um, so that same thing applies to uh, puffy winter coats um, snow suits um, any really big puffy clothing um, Another safe option for that would be something like this to where it is a shower cap style is what we call it. It goes over the top of the car seat. It does not interfere with how the baby is buckled in or how safe they are. And this is nice to keep them warm from just going in and out of the store. Um, but you do not need these things either. The baby will be perfectly fine if they just have a hat, um, a blanket. Um, I usually say to dress them in clothing uh, one layer warmer than what we would be comfortable in. Um, and then once you get in the car, maybe taking off some of that excess stuff or loosening it up because those babies can get overheated pretty quickly. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the other things for parents, like you mentioned, so we don't want anything between the harness, um, even if it's for a short distance. So the big issue is that anytime we have something bulky, we're not going to get that harness as tight. And so in anything where there's impact or any movement that that compresses whatever that material is, is in between and then makes the seat less secure for, for the infant that's in it. And that's our main concern. So regardless of how long we're gonna be in the car, how far we're going, there's always that risk of, unfortunately, some accident happening and we want our kids to be safe no matter how, how far we're driving. So the American Academy of Pediatrics also has some resources available on their website, um, healthychildren.org, to help us know exactly how we should be installing their uh, car seat checkup checklist to make sure that we know exactly how we should be installing the car seat and then also other tips for making sure our child is in the car seat safely. Um, and it sounds like you guys can help us out with this. Absolutely. Let's take a moment and see how to do a safe installation of a rear facing only car seat. We're going to show you how to install a rear facing only or an infant car seat in your vehicle using lower anchors. First, you're going to identify your lower anchors in the vehicle. And then you find your lower anchor attachments that are on your car seat. If you have one like this, the flat part goes on top and the bar is gonna hook underneath. As 
So you're gonna hook those anchors up to the vehicle anchors and you're gonna pull tight. So we're gonna use our non-dominant hand and give the seat just a handshake where those lower anchors are going through. If it moves more than an inch, we're gonna start over again and just put more weight in the seat and pull that tighter until we check it and it does not move more than one inch from side to side or pull away from the back of the vehicle seat. Then we're going to check for our level and make sure it's at the correct level that we need for a newborn. This is how you would install a rear facing only car seat using the seat belt. So you're gonna take the seat belt and you're gonna route it under and over and under again the base. Buckling that car seat up and then you're going to take the shoulder belt part of the seat belt and pull it out all the way until you'll hear it click and should hear a ratcheting sound. And then we're gonna tighten it up by putting one hand in the base of the car seat and the other hand is gonna pull the seat belt tight. We're gonna check with our non-dominant hand again where that's going through and making sure it doesn't move side to side more than one inch. If it does, we're gonna tighten it up some more. So we have a nice firm fit using our non-dominant hand and again, giving it a handshake. Then we wanna make sure that we have the correct level on the car seat, wherever that happens to be, making sure it's correct in the vehicle. And then you and baby are ready to go by clicking in the base, check to make sure where the handle placement needs to be on your car seat. And we wanna hear it click and always pull up to make sure that it did get in secure. And we just wanna stress that we never wanna install a car seat with lower anchors and a seat belt. We want to use one or the other. And for securing our child, we just wanna make sure the harnesses are at or below the shoulder while the child is rear facing. We wanna make sure we cannot pinch any webbing at the shoulder, running your fingers front to back. If anything bubbles or pinches between your fingers, please make sure to tighten the child up. And then we wanna make sure that the chest clip is right at the armpit level. All right, well, thank you guys so much for coming today to kind of help us talk about safety and making sure that parents during this kind of overwhelming process of selecting a car seat and getting their kids in maybe for the first time ever um, runs a little bit smoother they can just feel confident in knowing um, what they're doing as far as resources that are available are there any that you would recommend to parents um, if they have questions or any of this information that they want to go through again uh, safe kids worldwide is always a great resource and there's a lot of uh, car seat fitting stations around the omaha metro area Perfect. And then, like I mentioned before, uh, the American Academy of Pediatrics at their healthychildren.org has a lot of great resources, especially in regards to safety and prevention. So on that website, under the safety and prevention tab, if you go to on the go, you'll find any tips for air travel, car travel, um, holiday travel, seasonal things, um, emergency preparedness, and really anything else you might have questions about in terms of keeping your kids safe and healthy.